Uh, I'm Morris Gunsmith. I uh, manage the technical infrastructure and cloud platform team at Google, and I'll tell you a little bit about our history and where we're going. So it wasn't too long ago that we were a startup ourselves. Uh, you actually see me on that picture uh, on the left. Uh, if you look closely, you can see I'm, I'm, I'm on crutches because I was under the mistaken impression that I should participate in the weekly roller hockey uh, uh, game. Uh, and back then, we really had a small team with a big idea. And one of the things that we quickly realized is that instead of just spending time on our idea, we had to spend a lot of time on building infrastructure. Because what we wanted to do needed infrastructure, and the infrastructure we needed wasn't there. And so we started to spend a lot of effort, and that was uh, a large part of my job. What you see here is one of our first uh, server racks that we built ourselves in 1999. Uh, it's now on display at the Computer History Museum and actually at the new uh, Modern Science Museum. Uh, they have one of them as, as well. Uh, the only thing I can say uh, in defense of the design is that uh, it had to be done in three weeks. And then uh, we needed to place the order, and three weeks later we needed uh, those racks to actually be in position. But we learned a lot, and we spent a ton of time on that. And we really went through sort of all of the things that uh, can go wrong. I, I think we found most of them. Um, so I've seen uh, uh, actually our employees having to flee a building, a data center building, a rented one, of course, not our own facility because the temperature was reaching 50 degrees Celsius and the fire suppression system went off. We had um, you know, substations taken down, not just by birds, but snakes and squirrels, all the squirrels. Um, we had you know, more fiber cuts than, than, than we can shake a stick at. So we went through a lot of uh, trials and tribulations, but also we really spent a lot of time building that infrastructure. And so, if you look at the history, um, for over 10 years, we've uh, developed and, and published many of the ideas that we came to that makes infrastructure easier. Starting with uh, GFS, the Google File System, and Cluster-wide File System, MapReduce, and of course, uh, everyone knows today, uh, Bigtable for the NoSQL system, you know, and so on, and so on, and so on. And then, of course, our public-facing products, uh, starting with App Engine uh, in, uh, about seven years ago, six years ago. Now, we spent that time and that effort, and literally thousands of, of person years of effort going into the hardware and the software infrastructure, because we were really forced to rethink all of these, because our problem didn't fit sort of the general mold. And what's exciting is that, um, and what makes brings us personal satisfaction is that not just that this infrastructure is you know, cool and great and leading, etc., but the services that we enable uh, that are based on it. So if you think about the Google services that you hopefully all are using, each of these has different kinds of requirements. Each of these is a large computation problem, and all of them run on infrastructure. That, uh, that we provide. And so even though we're internally the, the engine behind the search engine, so we don't make a product ourselves, but we're very proud about really enabling the rest of Google to, to build products uh, on top of that. Now, I'm here today to talk about the Google Cloud Platform. So with the Cloud Platform, we're externalizing all of the infrastructure that we built for everyone to use so that you can benefit from all of our infrastructure experience and that you can focus on the things that you actually want to focus on, your product, rather than the machinery and the services uh, behind it. So let's just have a very brief look at uh, what this is. It's a complete uh, platform of services from very low level to very high level, starting with compute, you have a whole range from low-level VMs where you can change anything and you get raw VM to managed VMs that we actually can spin up and turn down for you 
to an app engine which completely uh, gives you a fully managed platform that scales both your front ends and your back ends without you doing anything. So on app engine, the only administrative action that you need to perform for your application is that you need to renew your credit card every two years. Right? You spend zero time on operations. On data storage, we have sort of the usual offerings, blob store, block store, uh, managed SQL, of course. Uh, big data, one of our uh, big focuses and one of the things that really internally we've used a lot. We have some very interesting uh, systems. Uh, BigQuery lets you interactively with SQL queries um, run over petabytes of data, literally. So it's, it's pretty much uh, arbitrarily scalable. It gives you real-time response in two or three seconds. Uh, or Cloud Dataflow, which is what has internally made MapReduce really an obsolete uh, system to us. It's much more natural to express uh, uh, data pipelines in, in Dataflow than, than in MapReduce. And then, of course, we have lots of services, including, as announced yesterday, Firebase for, for mobile developers that just make development easier uh, for you, from monitoring to mobile to uh, uh, prediction to, to uh, network services, or the many other services that we work with on translation. Now, it's not just about these products. Ultimately, it's also about price performance. How much does it cost to run this workload on our infrastructure versus your own infrastructure? And one of the things that we believe very strongly in is that the cost of cloud infrastructure should follow Moore's law. You probably have all heard about Moore's law. Something like computers get, you know, double their speed every 18 months or something like that. And with that, the price uh, goes down. We believe that really needs to be reflected in, uh, in, in the cloud as well. And so earlier this year in March, we really reset expectations of what price performance should look like. And we're very happy that we have moved the industry to a model that will follow Moore's Law. And just recently, earlier, uh, like a few weeks ago, we lower prices of compute again, and yesterday uh, of, of storage and networking. So you're really going to see us uh, follow this curve. Now, no wonder lots of people are running on our cloud, uh, cloud platform to uh, actually over 300,000 uh, developers are, are developing on our platform. Some of the European customers uh, uh, would be, let's say, Mcash, uh, Philips, uh, Wix, uh, Framestore. Uh, give you just a, a little bit more flavor. Wix um, builds web services. They move from their existing infrastructure. Most of their applications to our infrastructure upload something like a million files, that 11 million files a day, 600 terabytes of storage. And they actually, you know, sometimes your, your customers do something so innovative that you really partner with them. And so today we're actually announcing uh, uh, later uh, at 2.30 in our booth that uh, Wix is making their media services available to everyone as part of the Google Cloud platform. Or Framestore, I think they were here yesterday. You may not, not have heard of them, but you have seen them. If you watch a movie like Avatar or Gravity, they do special effects. And then this week they used 50,000 cores, uh, and they saved over 200 million euros in hardware costs by being on our platform. Now, to go back to entrepreneurships, right? We really care about the entrepreneurs because that's where we came from, right? Two guys with a big idea. And so it's great to see so many of you here. And I want to just point you to the many services that we have for entrepreneurs, like including our startup spaces in London, Tel Aviv, soon, Warsaw, and uh, Madrid, I believe. Um, but more importantly, if I look at the list of these companies, I really hope that, and these are companies in attendance here, that many of you will turn into big, successful companies. And that's why I'm very happy to make a very special announcement and uh, uh, provide something very special for all the exhibiting companies here today. Because we from the Google Cloud Platform were making a total of $20 million of startup credits for the Google Cloud Platform, available to every participating company, every exhibiting startup at this summit. So $10,000 
for every uh, startup. So I'm glad to this year, and uh, uh, you need to come to our booth to actually uh, cash it in. But I hope that I hope this really makes it easier for you to see that uh, and try out what we think is the best platform uh, in the world. Now let me end on a rant, actually, because I think that you people, you all have it too easy. Because we, back when we were startups, right, we had to build infrastructure with our bare hands, and after walking through the snow, no shoes, uphill both ways, and spending our blood, sweat, and tears on all of this. And you, you just sit there, you know, with your latte, you know, spinning up a thousand BMs, and you don't realize how hard that is. So, what's with that? Well, what it is, is that this is actually exactly how it should be. Right? This is exactly what we want to accomplish with our platform. You should focus on innovation 